Well, hello, 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 everyone out there in Tarot Land. This is your girl, Zingaya, the Zen Libran, and welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel, Zen Libran Tarot. How y'all doing out there? Everybody doing good? Everybody doing well? I hope so. Peace to everybody out there. You know what I'm saying? Thank y'all for coming, chilling with your girl, you know. Watching a video of your girl, you know, hoping y'all got peace, love, and joy in y'all life. Hope everybody out there feeling good, looking good, smelling good, acting right, pockets tight, because that's the vibration we like to be in here, you know. Well, I'm here today, guys. You know, if you follow me, you know I check in with each member of my soul family. And it's time for me to check in with Mother Earth. It's time for Mother Earth to tell us what's going on out here in the ethers, what she see, and how she feel about it. All right? All right. And of course, you know, this is the goddess channel and I speak for the woman's aspect and I have my power three up here. My three ladies here to bring in some feminine energy to help me deliver this message from Mother Earth. OK. All right, y'all. You know, I'm all about women empowerment on this channel. Yeah, my focus is on elevating the woman back to her goddess status, back to her empress status so she could take over her throne, which is the earth. OK. We are the original kings. We are the true kings, ladies, and we need to know the power that we possess and know who we are. Everybody knows who we are except us, okay? That's another reason why I want you guys to join me on my second channel, Pussy Power Tarot. It's a channel for the divine feminine and about the divine feminine. I'm getting her to recognize and realize the power of the punani, the power that you possess that's between your leg. Actually, it's the tool that the divine has given you to rule, and you need to know the power that you possess. Know that you're sitting on a portal in which souls are coming to this realm, and that souls can't come into this realm unless it has your permission. Know the power that you possess. You are the Holy Grail, ladies, and we need to carry ourselves accordingly. All right? All right, y'all. Well, the energy of this particular reading is the Age of Light. You've been training for this for a lifetime. You in your power. You standing in your power, honey. You are balanced mind, body, and spirit. Ooh, I'm loving this girl. And you're so powerful. You could be a masculine feminine. Yeah. You're a masculine feminine. Those are the feminines that the divine sent here to rule this planet. Mm-hmm. That's why we are called kings. Kings are women that are in their masculine energy. Mm-hmm. Because you need to be in your masculine energy in order to rule, okay? You know, and you're definitely there. And you've been training for this for lifetimes, honey. Yeah. You uh, triumphed over, um, you had some people in your energy, in just, just bombarding your life. These people wanted you, wanted to coach you and advise you. These people wanted to dominate you. These people wanted you to do what they told you to do. They wanted you to be obedient to them. Because of the power that you possess, they wanted to control you, okay? But you, 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 you your own woman. <laughs> You're masculine, feminine. You can control your damn self, you know what I'm saying? So these people were sending all type of disasters in your life, obstacles and challenges. You know, I guess they call themselves teaching you a lesson because you was doing something that they didn't want you to do. Okay, or the way that you was doing it, they didn't want it you, you to do that way. They wanted to, to be able to dominate and advise you and to, you know what I'm saying, um, govern your steps, <sighs> whatever. You know what I'm saying? These people were very unfair to you, very much unfair to you, and they robbed you of a lot of things. Finances, for one. You know, they stagnated the energy, stopped you from having finances. I mean, they did so much to you. They did so much to you. Affected your health, tore up your vehicle, uh, spying around your home, spreading rumors. Um, every, they did so much to you because they wanted you to be obedient to them. They wanted you to bow down to them because you're not going to be on this earth with all this power and they're not going to be able to control it and use it for their agenda. Yeah, I know who them peoples is. Yeah, I know who them people is that do this. You know what I'm saying? Um, you, they were very unfair to you. But don't worry, honey. You, you stood in your power and you triumphed. You triumphed. And you won this battle. Congratulations. You've been training for this for a lifetime, honey. So, hey, they brought ass and they got ass, didn't they? You hear what I'm saying? <laughs> I love this. It's the age of light, y'all. 
it's the age of like you could be telling the truth about something you could be a truth teller spreading light you know clarity revealing people putting light on their ass you know what i'm saying yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> i love this i love this yeah i know who these people are they want you if you got power you store seeds and you have power uh, to influence people they want you to come and be with them work for them because they want to use your your influence to influence people the way they for their agenda yeah, I know who these people is. Yeah, I know who these people is. And of course, you know, I speak from the woman's aspect and I pull from the feminine energy. So I have my power of three up here to help me bring in this feminine energy to deliver this message from Mother Earth. Okay? And the first one from the feminine energy is Alu. <laughs> Alu is here giving us the energy of morality. You have an incubus or succubus energy <laughs> that has been... Uh, doing this to you okay that has been treating you unfairly that has been trying to rob you that has been sending all type of disasters and obstacles and challenges in your life that's been trying to get you to bow down to them that's been trying to um get you to do things their way you know um this person is like i said incubus succubus energy very sexual you know what i'm saying this person is a snake and this person uh felt they held your destiny in their hand and if you don't do what i tell you to do <laughs> you know what i'm saying i'm gonna steal it they got their nerve how are you gonna steal somebody else's destiny this is a loser you hear what i'm saying an uh, incubus and they use sex as a weapon so this person was trying to get in your pants so they could snake you so they could steal your destiny that's what these incubus succubuses do all right um this particular person tried to curse you, <laughs> doing voodoo on you. I mean, just ridiculous, y'all. You know, but good news is happening in your life. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be a surprise. You know what I'm saying? You're going to think it's going to be a miracle. And this is going to encourage you, okay? You're going to receive something <laughs> um, <clears throat> that's going to... You, you're going to be very surprised. You're going to get a lot of... You're going to get some good news, okay? Um this this person um wanted from your past this is somebody from your past they wanted you to be poor they want you to be casted away they wanted you to feel like you were a failure they wanted you to be homeless and ask him to donate to you i mean just ridiculous y'all just ridiculous just ridiculous all because they want to control you it's ridiculous y'all it's ridiculous this is a loo giving us the energy of morality this is ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? The second one for my power of three is my girl Freya. Freya is here because Freya don't play that. Freya is a goddess, a warrior. You know what I'm saying? She lives in between the spirit realm and the physical realm. Actually, her um, her um, her warrior uh, carriage is being uh, driven by black cats, and you know the black cats. They in between this world and that world. You know what I'm saying? We are the cat people, ladies. And we are the cat people because we're sitting on the what? The kitty. Okay? We're sitting on the kitty. You know what I'm saying? So this is an alpha female that is a warrior. And that's what we do. And you're protected, honey. And you bold with it. you like, what? Y'all want some? Let's get it. Let's get it. Ain't nothing but space and opportunity out here. You're not playing with them. You, you're free. You're free and you're going to stay free. You know what I'm saying? And it ain't nothing they can do. Ain't nothing they can do. Um, these people were trying to, well, this person um, was trying to organize something to to catch you before you actually took flight. Because something in your life is taking flight. And they was trying to get you before that time came, before that divine time came. They were trying to trap you. Okay? This particular person thought he was going to come and propose to you. <laughs> because of the DNA that you have because where you originate from this person wanted to propose to you so that he can have material gain in his life because you're destined to be blessed with material gain and he tried to get you before you took off so he could be like I've been here before you got this no you didn't bitch you know what I'm saying you here because I have this all right and you bold about it you know what I'm saying this my girl Freya giving us the energy of boldness yeah you know 
And my last one from my power three is my girl Lakshmi. Y'all know I love Lakshmi. Lakshmi is here giving us the energy of abundance. Abundance, yeah. You've been sitting over here all calm and peaceful, meditating, minding your own business. You have inner peace. I mean, you're a sweetheart. So you're going to get the justice that you wished for. You was praying to the divine to give you justice uh, from this person, this incubus attacking you, trying to sex you so he could steal your destiny. You tired of fighting this person. This person is relentless, but you are too. And you kept up the fight. You know what I'm saying? But you was praying that you would get justice from this person. You know what I'm saying? I feel you. I feel you. And what, what did the divine answer? Yeah, with abundance. See, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. You deserve this. You worked hard for this. You battled hard for this. And the divine is giving it to you, baby. This is Lakshmi giving us the energy of abundance. I love it. I love it. And they tried to stop you from this. They tried to stop you from this. But now these people are withdrawing now because they see that they can't beat you. They mess with the right one. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Let's see what Mother Earth has out here. Yeah. We have a tet or a tt or whatever you may call her, if I pronounce her. Um, worthiness. You're royalty. I told you um, because of your DNA, where you originate from, you're destined to be wealthy in this lifetime. And these people know it. And they were trying to stop you from um, your destiny. You know, but you're worthy of this. You know what I'm saying? And all your cups are going to be full. You're going to have a reason to celebrate. Things is going to change in your life. You're free. You're free from this incubus and his people, you know, and you're worthy of this blessing that you're about to receive, okay? We got Oshun up here giving us the energy of fearless love. You started loving yourself, paying attention to yourself, caring about yourself, you know what I'm saying, and your temple, you know, and when you love yourself, honey, you're fearless. You know what I'm saying? That's why I tell y'all ladies, love yourself because you can conquer anything. When you love yourself, you don't fall for a lot of stupid stuff. You know what I'm saying? Low vibing things because you love yourself. You could be a mystic or a psychic. Yeah, but something has come to a completion, you know, and you sitting up here looking beautiful. You probably lost weight. Your hair probably grew. I mean, you all into yourself. And ain't nothing wrong with being into yourself. You know what I'm saying? Because that's a fearless love. Okay? And when you love yourself in that goddess within, it shows outwardly. And now it's showing outwardly. And you love yourself. So nobody can conquer you, baby. You know what I'm saying? Nobody. All right? That's my girl, Oshun. Yeah, you know the men be after Oshun. Yeah, you got it going on, girl. You looking good over there, smelling good, and they having a fit, you know? We have my girl, Mommy Kumba Bang here, giving us the energy of speaking up. <clears throat> you could be speaking up on some type of platform and people are giving you offerings, okay? You could be speaking up about these people, which these are Masons, okay? Uh, you could be speaking up about them uh, attacking you. Yeah. Sending this incubus your way, which he's a mason. He's the hit man that's supposed to come your way and steal your destiny. And you speaking up about it on some type of platform and people are donating to you. Okay? You know, y'all know how these people do. You know what I'm saying? You have a spiritual connection with the divine. And you're very creative. This is some type of platform that you created. And you speaking out about these damn Masons. See, these people, they be behind the scene. That's their weapon is to be able to hide. But when you speak up and put the, the light on their ass, they run like roaches. You know what I'm saying? And that's what you're doing. You're speaking up against these damn Masons on what they're doing to you. Okay? All right. This is Mama Kuba, Mommy Kuba Bang giving us the energy of speaking up. Yeah. Ain't nobody scared of you damn Masons, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> we have Mahoy, Ma, Mabuya Nahanda up here, giving us the energy of radical rebirth. Yeah, you're free from these Masons, and things is about to change. You finna have this radical rebirth. Yeah, you, you rolling with your girls, you all about your homegirls, your women, you know what I'm saying? And, and yeah, you could be on a platform talking about women empowerment. And look at you, you got your girls with you, you know what I'm saying? And it's going to be a radical rebirth, baby. You're not playing with these people. 
You freed yourself from these people. And you freed yourself because you loved yourself. Okay? A whole organization of Masons coming up against this one feminine. And you freed yourself. You freed yourself. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Mm hmm All right, let's get this tarot out here, y'all. Let's get this tarot out here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. What's Spirit talking about? What is Mother Earth talking about? And what is her message? Let's continue her message. Boo, you are worthy of everything that you get. You've been loving yourself. You're speaking up. And you're going to have a radical rebirth. You know what I'm saying? You're speaking up about these Masons. Sending this hitman your way to steal your destiny. To sleep with you. You know what I'm saying? To wreck your creativity. You know what I'm saying? To tap into your emotions. You know, that's your sacral energy. That's why this person wants to sleep with you. He's going to do some type of sex magic on you or something. Well, he thought he was. You know what I'm saying? But you bold about it. And you speaking about it. You went to war with his ass. And because of this, you went through this battle and you won. The divine is giving you abundance you earned this boo you know what i'm saying this uh incubus he's ashamed of himself because you're speaking up you telling the truth about his ugly ass you know what i'm saying and um you're speaking up um about how he indulged with this coven of witches which uh witches are not bad but like everything positive it gets infiltrated by things negative you know witches were the watchers the healers the builders of the foundation the women that ran this planet you know what I'm saying? And they have been infiltrated by dark witches, okay? Which these uh, karmic witches in this coven, um, these masculine was using, they're probably Eastern stars, okay? Because he's a Mason, definitely. And um, all they do is sit around and drink. They don't do nothing but sit around and worry about their hair and worry about getting massages. I mean, they don't do nothing. You know what I'm saying? They some drunk bitches. That sit around and don't do nothing. And um, them and his masculine, who done caught a disease from these bitches, you know what I'm saying? Because he's sleeping with every last one of them, they nasty. If this is some type of sex coven or something. And he's been using them to um, attack you, Divine Feminine. And what you do, you got your Freya on. You battled these bastards, you know what I'm saying? They didn't know that you lived in the spirit world also. You know what I'm saying? Do y'all research on people before y'all come up against them, boo. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And these Masons more than likely knew what they were doing, but they sent this dumbass incubus your way. You know what I'm saying? Because this is somebody you dealt with in your past, and they thought he can get close to you. But uh, you love yourself. And when you dealt with this person, you didn't love yourself. So by you loving yourself, you didn't get this bastard the time of day. And that's why he went and got these witches, these dark prostitutes, you know what I'm saying, to come up against you. Yeah, and now he's ashamed because you're speaking out about it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you've outgrown this person. You know what I'm saying? This person is still in, stuck in the past, and you've outgrown this person. You know? Um, don't worry about a thing, Divine Feminine. You know what I'm saying? Things are happening for you now, not to you anymore. Mm, yeah, I love this. I love this. And this masculine is ashamed of himself. And he should be with his incubus ass. Get on out of here. You know what I'm saying? Let's put one on a tet. Let's put one on worthiness. Yeah, honey, you over here healing. You know what I'm saying? These people have been affecting your health. You know what I'm saying? But you're over here healing. You could probably be eating herbs. You know what I'm saying? That to heal you, some special herbs that you're you're taking to heal you. Um, like I said, that uh, you could be some psychic or mystic, or a healer or a shaman. Okay, and you're taking the right herbs. Uh, you could have been having a problem walking. You know what I'm saying? These people are putting a lot of burdens in your life, but you're healing yourself. You're healing yourself, and and you're free now. You know, and um, you're worthy of every damn thing that you're getting. Okay. You're worthy of every damn thing that you're getting. Um, this person did all this because you resisted him when he came towards you to have sex with you. This person, you resisted this person. You know, you resisted this person. You don't want nothing to do with him. So he got with these women to attack you because you wouldn't give it up to him. When he already screwing these three witches he messing with. 
and he got a disease. He got some type of poison in his body. I get what he wanted, mad at you because you didn't allow him to give you a disease? Boy, get your mind right. Get your mind right. You like, boy, I ain't messing with you. Please, I'm not interested. And I know that's right, girl. I know that's right. <laughs> you love yourself. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what he think this is. You know what I'm saying? See, you dealt with this person when you were toxic. You know what I'm saying? And you've transcended. And this person is still in the low vibration. <laughs> you love yourself. You know what I'm saying? And so, these women here. These could be a woman of another race. <laughs> they coming up attacking you. Doing spell work, girl. They was doing spell work on you. Girl. But it's the end of this drama with these women. Don't worry about this no more. These could be women that are prejudiced because of the skin you in. Y'all know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. And they feel that you don't deserve your destiny because you're not of the uh, right uh, persuasion, I want to say. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But as far as you was concerned, was nothing. This ain't nothing to a giant. You just felt this was a healthy competition. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you had faith that you could win. You know what I'm saying? And you knew that um, eventually the truth would be revealed. Yeah. Um, you're very smart. <laughs> and they didn't know. You know what I'm saying? And you're going to get relief from this tension, from this coven of witches, and, uh, of uh, Eastern stars, or whoever these uh, people are that this masculine hired to um, do spell work on you. Okay? Or not probably just got, because the, not hired, but got them to do spell work on you, because y'all in, in the same organization. You know what I'm saying? You have the victory over these bitches. You know what I'm saying? And you won. You know what I'm saying? Everybody giving you attention. You know what I'm saying? You getting a lot of attention. And something that you're doing. Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah. You're getting a lot of attention on this platform that you created. You know? Um, that you're speaking up. Um, on these masons. Okay? About what they did to you. And what they doing. But they do to others, you know. Yeah. You're getting a lot of attention. And you know they don't like that. You know they don't like that. You know they don't like that. But who cares? You know what I'm saying? These people were out here doing spell work. And it didn't work. And it didn't work on you because you're spiritually connected. And when you're connected, you're protected. <laughs> and they didn't think that you were, honey. They didn't think that you were. Yeah. They didn't think they, that you were. These people are confused on why they spell work didn't work. You know what I'm saying? Um, these people were trying to muddle your thinking, mess with your crown chakra. You know what I'm saying? This masculine over here has been having inappropriate fantasies about you. You know what I'm saying? Um, so he wanted to try to alter your state of perception that you had on him. You know, um, this person wanted to come around you and place f drugs in your food. You know what I'm saying? And drink without your knowledge. So don't don't be around this person. I'm glad you didn't. You know what I'm saying? This person wasn't able to confuse you. You know, this person was living in a dream world. You know, this was un unrealistic expectations. You know what I'm saying? You escaped from this particular person. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You escaped, escaped from this particular person. Um... <laughs> this person deceived himself, you know what I'm saying? And because you just avoided this person at all costs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you speaking up about it. You speaking up about it all, baby. And that's what you do. Because these organizations, they what they do is hide. And their strength is in hiding. You know, they some punks. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They throw they rock, they hide their hand and, and because you really can't prove it. Because it's a spiritual thing. They want people to think that you crazy. Like she lost her mind. No. No she ain't. You done lost yours. Because you came up against the right one. You came up against a masculine feminine this time. You came up against a warrior. A warrior goddess. And she ain't the one to be messed with. And you see that now don't you. This feminine done brought down this whole damn coven. Mm-hmm. Brought it down. Brought it down. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. 
is over for this mason. I'm going to turn the coin right side up so y'all can see what they call him. What they call him? Bishop C.H. Mason. And I tell you, this was a mason that was doing that. But the coin came up upside down. So it's over for this bastard. It's over for this bastard. And you finna have a radical rebirth. You're on your platform with your women. You could be speaking about women empowerment like me. You know what I'm saying? And uh, things are changing. Things is changing, baby. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And these people are confused on how you got away. What do you mean? She's been training for this for a lifetime. Woo! We got a tarot reader. We got a tarot reader here. That's right. Kick they ass, y'all. Kick they ass because they've been attacking tarot readers since 2015. Kick they ass. You know what I'm saying? And tarot readers are very powerful if they're authentic. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they're clairvoyant, clairsentient, clairaudient. I mean, they're supernatural. You know what I'm saying? And these people wanted to control you. Wanted you to do things the way that they wanted to do. You know what I'm saying? They wanted to uh, you to do things that uh, had to do with their agenda. You know? Yeah, whatever. You know what I'm saying? If you don't do things their way, they'll stop you from reading. <laughs> you know, stop your, your platform, stop your channel. I mean, it's just ridiculous because it's been happening. You know what I'm saying? It's happened to me, but I'm still speaking. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, we got a tarot reader here. But these people were trying to make sick, burdened. She couldn't walk. You know what I'm saying? Probably had a stroke or something. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Got her walking bent over. You know what I'm saying? And then you got these, these, these little, they look like young women. And you have a different race than she is attacking her. <laughs> but you bought this whole coven down. This mason and these witches that he got. Mm -mm -mm. It's sad, y'all. <clears throat> These people are sad. They're really sad, y'all. You know, and um, let me get a few more up here. And then we're going to close this out, y'all. These people are sad. Mm -mm -mm. Don't y'all know real terror readers can see y'all coming? Don't y'all know real terror readers know how to protect themselves? Don't y'all know that? Did y'all do y'all research before y'all try to come up against her? Because if she's anointed, you can't touch her. And if she's in the North Node, she's heavily protected. Y'all stupid. That's what y'all is. That's what y'all is. Miss Mason here, they had that Moorish um, uh, mentality from the men in Morocco. You know what I'm saying? They done ran their ass over there and invented their own world. You know, they own women. They invented Eve because they couldn't handle this masculine woman because they had to bow down to her. So they went over there and made another woman, which is Eve, which was more submissive, you know. <laughs> and uh, how they think over there in Morocco that if your woman is not obedient to you or you don't control your woman, you're not no man. And that's the, the mentality that these Masons go by. You know, uh, these Masons are Ashapu priests. Do your research on the Ashapu priests. Those are the men that wanted to replace the women that ruled. And they took over spirituality and made religion, which is spirituality which, with uh, dark witchcraft in it. That's exactly what religion is. Okay? And they separated everybody because we were all working in one accord. You know, these are the men that tore down the, t the, 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 the Tower of Babel. They call it Babel because we were working in one accord and they tore it down. And they put in different, gave us different religions. So these people were believing this way. These people were believing this way. These people were believing this way. So our beliefs were separated. That's what the Tower of Babel means. And the, the people that came and tore down the Tower of Babel, Remember, in your Bible, it says, let us now go down. You know what I'm saying? So it was a cluster of people that went down. And the people that went down was the same people that said, let us go down and make man in our image. It was the Elohim. Okay? The El, which is the God of the Canaanites, which is Yahweh's grandfather. Come on now, I'm going to teach y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? The dogs, the Canaanites. The canine, the men, okay? 
The Elohim is the God of him. Elohim. The God of him. The God of man. Okay. They came down and tore down the Tower of Babel. Okay. <laughs> and so they got different factions following the God of him. Instead of the goddess that was running the earth at that particular time. Come on now, I'm going to teach y'all, ladies. I'm going to teach y'all. Join me on my second channel because I'm telling you what happened before Adam and Eve. Okay? <laughs> okay, I'm telling you what happened before Adam and Eve. And I'm telling you what happened, why Adam and Eve came to be. Come on now. Come on now. Listen to me now. <laughs> Let's get some more energy out here, y'all. And now, this mentality of this Mason, him and his mentality has been got their ass kicked basically him and his coven that he got you know what i'm saying hmm. yeah honey mm-hmm mm-hmm <laughs> it's wicked law it's the wicked rule you can't touch her she a witch herself a divine witch a witch of the light this is glinda baby good witch of the north you know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing that you can do to her. Like Linda say, rubbish. Your magic don't work her. Work her. I ain't scared of you. That's what she told him. In the Wizard of Oz, she's like, get on up out of here before, we, before I have somebody drop a house on your ass. You know what I'm saying? She was scared of her. You know what I'm saying? What you what you could do, I could do too. Bitch. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> yeah. This is, this is a shame. This is a shame. Yeah. We got a high priestess here. We got a high priestess here. And these ladies in this coven, you know what I'm saying? Was trying to get at her. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, honey. You, um, this tension is over from these ragged, uh, cock a doo doo ass bitches. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, uh huh. That was out here doing candle magic on you. Weak doing candle magic on you. And doing it for this masculine. You know what I'm saying? So you can get this, so this masculine can sleep with you. This is crazy. All over some ass, y'all. This what it was over. Man, come on, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, these people, he was doing rituals on you. They was invoking things, doing rituals on you. What? All to get you to sleep with this dude. Man. And you speaking up about it, you like these Masons over here trying to S.A. me, y'all. You know what I'm saying? They trying to gang uh, grape me, y'all. You know what I'm saying? They trying to sex traffic me, y'all. They trying to, and you speaking up about it. You speaking up about it. Mm-hmm. That's right. That's right. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Woo, you could be giving guidance through tarot cards. I told you a tarot card reader. This is a tarot card reader that's on her platform speaking up about these Masons and these Eastern stars and how they succubuses and incubuses in this sex coven and how they've been coming up against her trying to stop her. They sent the hitman, somebody from her past. Oh, you speaking up about it. You speaking up about it. You know what I'm saying? You speaking up about it, honey. You in your power. You know what I'm saying? See, these bitches that know that you was a witch too. You know what I'm saying? See, witches that are really witches of the light, they're sacred. Which secret and sacred are the same thing. If you got somebody that's really into their spirituality, it'll broadcast it. You know what I'm saying? That's where the secret societies came from. You know what I'm saying? Um, they were fought. Uh, you got people here that are trying to force people to be in, be a Christian. But these people, they kept secret and they worshipped in secret. You know what I'm saying? And they uh, um, <clears throat> congregated with people that had like minds and like views. And this was because... The powers that be was hunting them down for being sacred because they didn't follow their religion. They were trying to get everybody converted from spirituality to religion. So secret societies were invented to keep things, to be able to worship and still have your beliefs and do it in secret. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they doing candle magic on the tarot card reader, y'all. <sighs> weak, weak, 
And this dude, he's got to be a homosexual to be coming up against a woman. See, these Ashapu priests, these are the ones that invented wigs. These are the ones that invented makeup because they know that the woman is the true ruler. So they're like, hell, we might as well be a woman because y'all, God is woman on this earth. So let's be a woman. So that's why they had on wigs. If you look at cartoons and stuff of Egypt, you'll see that in those cartoons and stuff, the men was putting on wigs, you know what I'm saying? Something would happen and a wig would fall out and it would be funny, you know what I'm saying? Um, and we'll laugh, but this was some realness behind it. They had on wigs. The men had on wigs because they were trying to be women. They were replacing women. Ladies, we ruled. We ruled Atlantis. We ruled the dynasties. You know what I'm saying? King Tut was the last of the royal dynasty. And King Tut was a woman. Come on, I'm trying to teach y'all now. And these Ashapu priests are the ones that replaced us once the ash from the tower was here. That's why they call Ashapu priests. And they think that a woman should be beneath a man. And this masculine has that mentality. That's a Greek mentality. Okay? And, and, and Greeks shall know about their culture. They homosexuals. So this is basically a Mitch. This is a Mitch. He likes men. These Masons, they sleep with men behind the back. Mm -hmm. They do the homies. And it's not so much as um, the sexual act itself. You know what I'm saying? It's just that that is a quick way to attach an entity to it in you, to in your bloodstream. Okay? All right? And so they're sleeping with each other all the time. They do the homies and everything. So this is a Mitch that's jealous of this woman because he wants to be her. He wants her position. And he want to be in all her positions. You hear what I'm saying? He want to be all the positions that a woman could be in. He's a homosexual. Okay? All right, y'all. I'm telling you now. Yeah, he do the homie. Yeah, okay. I'm going away for the weekend with the bros. Okay? Okay, you know, they give you a mentor, okay, uh, they give you a mentor, okay, that's that, um, um, that Moore House, and they call it Moore House College, y'all, that's where the Moors are housed at, Moore House College, where you get a mentor, where you get an older man teaching a younger guy, that's that Greek mentality, you know what I'm saying, and he tear you in, a man tear, a man tore, come on now. What do you turn? Okay? Do the homies. Okay? You know, that's that Morehouse stuff. You know what I'm saying? That's how the college run up there. I mean, it's just sad, y'all. It's just sad. They have homosexual fraternities and everything where the, where the men be having on nails and eyelashes and they be stumping just like the dudes. You know what I'm saying? How they look. You know, I don't know, fraternity. You know what I'm saying? And they be stepping. Hey! Oh, who you and all this stuff and they some damn dudes. I, I seen it, y'all. I seen it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that's what we have here. You know what I'm saying? So we got a Mitch, which is a man bitch. We got a Mitch that's envious of this woman and that's why he was doing what he was doing and he got these witches to come up against her. Cause he wanna be her. He wanna steal her destiny. Not these women. He want it. He want the skirt, too. He want the vagina, too. He want it all. And I want it now, he said. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 He want to be the high priestess. He want to be the high priestess, but you are, honey. And you're free from his disgusting ass. You know what I'm saying? He want to be you. He want to be a woman so bad. That's what they want. That's what they want. That's what they want, boy. But... The universe is showing you love. You got the holy grail. Not you, dude. Okay? You got the womb. Not you, dude. And that's what they mad about. That's what they mad about. It don't matter how much makeup they put on, how many wigs they put on, how much plastic surgery they get. All this was made for men to look more like women, ladies. So they can replace us. Like the divine don't know who, what the real woman is. You know what I'm saying? They're trying to replace us. Don't matter how many boob jobs you get, how many lip injections you get, how many BBLs you get, you still a dude. You still a dude. And you can't birth nothing because you ain't got no womb. You're not a woman. 
because you don't have a womb. Hence the word womb man. You can't be me. You can't be me. But he want to. <laughs> sad, y'all. It's sad. You know what I'm saying? Well, this, y'all, this is what I got for um, this particular reading. You know what I'm saying? It's sad. You know what I'm saying? Um, this tarot reader is the Holy Grail and the universe is showing her love. She's standing in her power. A masculine, feminine that's a warrior. You know what I'm saying? And she fought th- this incubus and this coven. These masons. And she got a platform and she's speaking up about it. Telling people how uh, they doing candle magic on her. How they, he want to replace her because he's a homosexual. You know what I'm saying? He want her destiny. He want her dress. He want it, y'all. He want it too. You know what I'm saying? It's sad out here, y'all. It's sad. Y'all don't know our life, man. Y'all don't know our life. You know what I'm saying? Y'all be on the outside looking in. Things look good. But y'all don't know what we had to do. And we make things look good. You know what I'm saying? We make things look easy. That's why we're chosen to do this task. All right? All right. Well, this is the message that I have for Mother Earth. And Mother Earth be talking, don't she? She be telling the tea, don't she? That's my girl. That's my girl. If you feel anybody could benefit from this reading, please share the consciousness, share the awareness, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, my videos be getting blocked, y'all. You know what I'm saying? So if you happen to see it, please share it so people can see these videos, y'all. All right? I love y'all. And you've been training for this for a lifetime. And they done came up against the wrong one. You hear what I'm saying? You hear what I'm saying? I love y'all, and I definitely will see y'all on the next message. Y'all be easy, take care of yourself, and continue to protect yourself because these people out here are crazy. He want to be you. He want the dress, girl. He want a kitty, too. You know what I'm saying? i see y'all later. Y'all be easy. Bye-bye.